Hey guys, welcome to my blog for show. My name is Karis and today we're going to be talking about 10 life quotes that are actually false. Now I love me some good life quotes, but I've come to realize that a lot of the popular life quotes that we hear time and time again are actually interpreted completely wrong. So the first one is, you are what you attract. Now, I do believe that this one isn't completely false, but this life quote isn't accurate for every person. And I think I mentioned this in my last video on the healing from a breakup part two. And in some instances, I do believe that this quote is exactly what it says. You are what you attract. I don't believe it's always straight like that because some people have just a energy that everyone likes and wants to experience them. And if you're that type of person, you aren't necessarily what you attract because you attract good people and you attract bad people. And I believe that many people can attract good and bad people. I don't necessarily think that it's because of what you're doing or how you are in terms of a negative aspect, but more so from a positive perspective. Number two, imitation is a form of flattery. Now this one, I feel like it's flat out dead wrong because there's a difference from being inspired by someone and actually imitating someone. You can be inspired by someone and pick up something that they do or a habit or trait and make it your own. That is inspiration. But imitation, when you flat out copy someone from personal experience, nine times out of 10, if a person is imitating you and a lot of things that you do and trying to become your whole persona, that's jealousy to me that is not imitation and it's not flattery it's straight out jealousy and i think that a lot of times we try to excuse that behavior with oh imitation is the best form of flattery no ma'am that's jealousy and weird and it's giving hater energy it's getting negative vibes it's never giving flattery to me number three fake it till you make it now this advice i feel like it has always been just a trash piece of advice <laughs> honestly because fake it till you make it why do we have to fake it till we make it a lot of times when people are looking up to you they want to see your journey like they want to feel like okay i'm not the only one that's going through these obstacles and facing these different challenges to get to where i want to be or whatever the destination is that you're trying to reach i believe in not faking it till you making it but allowing people to see your raw unfiltered and uncut journey because it lets people know like she's human too like she goes through stuff too it's not as easy as it may look or as we try to put on like no the shit is hard and i want you to see my heart so that you can avoid the mistakes that i've made find something that you can maybe replace with things that i did that didn't work that you can now improve on and, and make your journey a little bit easier like that is the best type of support when you have people that you can really just go through the ringer with and they see you come out like the different person or to reach the final destination that is amazing and that's a story within itself so don't fake it till you make it be upfront with people be real with people allow people to see the authentic journey of what it is you're trying to accomplish or where you're trying to go instead of trying to fake it till you make it because it just comes off as being flaw like you're fake you know like <laughs> you're trying to show me the good stuff but i want to see what you had to endure to get here I, not because i just want to see like the bad aspects of it but i want to see the struggles that you overcame that lets me know okay she went through this that and a third i can do that too number four love is blind love isn't blind love is ignorant and i correlate it with ignorance because you're simply ignoring the red flags with everything in life, our spirit guides us and speaks to us. And you have to be tapped into your spirit in order to receive and hear what your spirit is telling you. So with everything in life, there are red and green flags. And when it comes to love, there are red flags that we see in relationships that we overlook. So we're never fully blindsided with love. We're blindsided because we've ignored the red flags. And nine times out of 10, once the situation blows into what it's supposed to be, or what it isn't supposed to be and we catch those red flags we then revert back to the beginning and we can then see the small things that has now turned into big things so love isn't truly blind love is just ignorant number five if you love someone let it go and if it comes back it means more whatever you want to say it you can't really correlate that to meaning something because tell me what man who would not spin the block as many times as you allow him to 
I think men spin the block more so than women do, but that's just, you know, I might be a little biased. You know, I'm always here for the women, but <laughs> someone spins the block multiple times. Be for real. Happiness makes a woman prettier. And I don't believe happiness makes a woman prettier or people prettier. Joy makes women slash people prettier. And I believe happiness is conditional and joy is unconditional. When you are happy, your happiness can be turned upside down and switched to a different emotion with just something happening within a split of a second. So it's not something that's stable. It changes from moment to moment. But when you have pure joy, you, no matter what your circumstances are, no matter what situation you're in or what's coming at you, the type of day you have, you still have that joy in you and it cannot be taken away. It's unconditional. Like it's there regardless of what you're going through or what you're facing facing in the physical realm. It's something that's within versus happiness being just an emotion that can be changed by the flip of a coin. Number seven, Drake might come for me for this one, but YOLO. You only live once that's a motto, baby YOLO. No, I don't know what your spirituality is, but I believe in life after death. I believe that there is a hereafter. And I believe that you may experience a physical death here on earth, but you still have life after death. And I'm not going to go too much into that one because it's, you know, people have their different ideas of what they believe happens after death. But that's just my personal opinion. You know, take it how you want. Anger cannot be dishonest. And I totally disagree with this. I can remember times where I have been like so mad at someone that I have said like the most low down stuff. And I don't necessarily mean it, but I'm either trying to get one up on you. I'm trying to get my get back or you done piss me off to the point to where now like I'm hitting below the belt. I try not to be that woman these days. I really try to work on like what I say and how I react to things. But you know, we're all human. We players mess up too i believe that you can say things out of anger that aren't true and that you genuinely don't feel i prefer to focus on how people show up for me during the good times as well like i would rather have someone who may say some things that they don't necessarily mean when we're when they're upset versus someone who you get along with for the most part but they undermine you with like their sneakiness or just like how they really feel about you. I like to think take things not necessarily for face value, but like their actions. And that brings me to, um, you pay attention to people's actions and not what they say. And I feel like there's a contradiction in that saying because in some aspects, we try to take things for face value. And in other aspects, we are supposed to pay attention to people's actions. But I feel like if you focus on people's actions in every aspect of life not not just one area of your life then you cannot be led astray but i like to focus on people's actions versus what they say because you can say anything when you're mad when you get mad you say things that you don't mean and you genuinely don't mean those things but you wanted to hit below the belt and get back at that person for something they've done or how they made you feel so yeah that's how i feel about that quote i think we're on number nine well-behaved women are rarely remembered I think it depends on the aspect of how you're saying it. Well-behaved women in what way? I feel like well-behaved women in terms of morals, values, things of that nature, your traits and stuff are remembered. But when it comes to, I guess, maybe like standing out, um, you can still stand out and be well-behaved. You don't have to always like just show your ass or just act out of character to be remembered. So... I don't believe that. I don't believe well-behaved women are rarely remembered. I believe well-behaved women would get you further and are more rememberable than misbehaved women because I don't want you to remember me for something that I did that's out of character or not who I want to be presented as. But if that's your thing to like do the most to get attention, I mean, I guess, but that's just not my route. So I definitely disagree with that quote. Life is short and I don't believe life is short. I believe life is a journey. And I also believe in time not being a real thing, as well as our timing is different from God's timing. So I don't believe life is short, but I do believe you should soak in every moment of life and enjoy every moment of life. 
but to say that life is short life is actually pretty long if you think about it for most of us life is long and even for people who like may die young or whatever the case may be life still i still wouldn't consider life is short because you fulfilled your purpose here on this earth whatever that purpose may be and whatever god's reasoning is for placing you here for that short period of time i just don't believe that that life is truly short life is long like if you think about what you go through day to day and like the things you face day to day in your life life is actually feels long for me <laughs> like i'm not saying i'm ready to go or nothing but when i do die i'll be happy content and i just pray that i fulfill my duties and my destiny and purpose while i'm here though life is beautiful so just enjoy every moment and not think about the time time isn't a real thing for me time is something that was created but is it really real mm, nah i don't think so and i know i told you i would give you guys 10 but i have one bonus one that i thought of and i had to added into this video but the bonus quote that i feel is actually false is money is the root of all evil i don't believe money is the root of all evil i believe greed is the root of all evil How if a person is evil spirited it does not matter they're going to be evil rich poor wealthy successful unsuccessful they're going to be evil in general the pedestal that you put money on that's what creates the evil in this world not the money itself the money is just a tool and a resource that you use for life and depending on how bad you want it and how much of it that you want is what makes you evil not the money itself all right y'all so that is my take on 10 life quotes that we hear all the time that are actually false and i told you a little bit of why i believe they're false Comment down below if you have life quotes that you hear all the time that you've never really thought of that you now can ponder on and be like, yeah, I don't think that means that. <laughs> I don't believe that. Feel free to comment down below your perspective on these quotes and let me know what you think. Or if I opened you up to like, hmm, you might be right. I'm gonna have to think about that. You might, you might be on to something. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and pull up on my blog for show. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.